Which voice are you listening to? There are so many voices in our ears today. Which one are you listening to? Between news media outlets and politicians, the voices are all over the place. During this time we find ourselves living in, there is only one voice that is going to guide us in the way we should go. There is only one voice that is going to order our steps. There is only one voice that is going to bring us comfort, hope, and peace. There is only one voice that is going to bring us truth in a time of deception. You see, every time God was going to do something new in a generation, before he would act, he brought forth a voice. Moses heard the voice calling out to him from the burning bush. The prophet Samuel was a transitional figure during the times of the judges, and he heard a voice calling him in the temple when he was just a boy. Last but not least, during the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, John the Baptist was the voice crying out in the wilderness. God is still at work today, and he is still speaking with a clear voice. The question is, are you listening? Jesus said himself, he who has an ear, let him hear. It's time now to hear the spiritual ears and process what God is saying through a spiritual mind. Are you willing to do what is necessary to hear his voice in a time where everything is trying to drown him out? He who has ears to hear, let him hear.